How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews. Uh, not back with another review. Um, I guess it's kind of a review. Um, a review of a long and fantastic weekend. Um, I literally just walked through the door from driving home from Canada, or backwards land as me and my buddy Joe, who's sitting off camera, uh, like to call it. Um, yeah, I went to um, uh, Chad from El Bano Rhino, uh, his beer fest. Uh, first off, thank you so much, Chad, for an awesome fest. Absolutely great time, great beer, crazy times. Um, drove up there with Paul from PA Brunos. Check all these people out on YouTube when I start firing off their names. And basically went out there and had a great weekend. Uh, did a whole bunch of reviewing at Chad's house with um, Guy from Beer Guy Reviews, um, um, Nick from Maxwell Star, um, yeah, Greg Bylog, who doesn't have a channel, Average Joe. And uh, Chad himself, and just banged down a bunch of reviews, did the fest, well, a bunch of reviews on Friday, did a fest on Saturday, did a bunch more reviews on Chad's birthday on uh, Friday, or Sunday, and uh, just got back today, and uh, had an absolutely great time, and came home with a lot of beer, well, a little bit of beer, just a little bit of beer, yeah, just and a yeah, just a little bit, and I'm just going to go over what I picked up while I was in Canada, it'll all eventually be reviewed. It might take me a little bit of time to get through them. Um, so, yeah, here we go. I'm going to go through the beer that was gifted to me by people because that's the most important thing because they're what made the weekend awesome. I'm going to try to remember who gifted what to me. So if I screw up, I apologize in advance. First up, first beer I got when I was there pretty much is Homebrew by Beer Zerker. I forget exactly what this is. Um, I should have looked it up before I came on camera, but I am a jerk like that. So... It's got duct tape on it and this weird green thing, so that means I love the label, which means I'm going to love the beer. So thank you very much, Beer Zerker. Um, second up, stuff gifted me. Uh, Nickelbrook Cuvée. I've actually had this before, but it was a lost review between me and Joe. So I'm super... the, uh, 14? Um, 2014? I do not know. No, 2013, so we got a little bit more time on it. Uh... Might still be the same thing that we reviewed. Might be the same one? I don't know. I don't know, but anyway. I, I had the bottle. And it was a lost review, so this is awesome. Uh, either Guy got Nick or, or Chad gave me this one. Thank you. Whoever did, because I'm a retard and I don't remember. Same thing with the Whiny Bastard. And again, another, no, not a lost no. review. A beer I've never had, which I wanted. I have had it, you haven't. I, and it is the 2013 too, so I've got a little bit of time on it. Nice. Thank you so much. Pretty sure this is a, a Guy offering, but I'm not quite sure. Again, like I said, got a little bit drunk out, so I don't remember everything. Um, let's see what else. Yeah, those are all. Um, do, 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 the uh, Obsidian Rum Barrel Aged Porter. Um, Imperial Porter from Cameron's. Chad, thank you very much. I love I, uh, porters and I love rum barrel aged stuff. So there you go. I have actually got two of those. I think I'm going to buy one at LCB and get gifted one. I'm not sure what's going on. It was really drunk out. Rybach. Bach from Cameron's, 6.3%. Chad, thank you very much. And this is going to be ripping off a bunch of Chad stuff. The cru Cruiser All Day Pale Ale, 4.9%. Um, Again, another one from Chad. Thank you very much. Uh, a Blueberry Mead from Lennart Country, 8.5% alcohol. I love blueberry-based stuff. Again, awesome beer. Thank you, Chad, very much. And another one from Chad, Cranberry Mead. Muskoka's. Thank you very much. Um, Schnitzelbrow from Chad. Uh, yeah, we're going to see what's up with this. 5% alcohol. Thank you very much. And the last one from Chad, I believe, is In Session ISA from Garrison Brewing. Thank you so much. You can see how much stuff they threw my way. I can't express how much I am thankful for all that. Uh, Innocent Gun was given to me uh, by the punter. Thank you very much. You can always use a little Innocent Gun in your life. Dark bottle, so it's newer stuff. Um, and the last one gifted me from the boys, the, I believe, again, the Happenweiss, um, wheat ale from Les Trois Mosquetiers. I don't even know how to say that. Three Musketeers. Three Musketeers. Shut up, Joe. God damn it. And, uh, yeah, signature series, Happenweiss. Super excited to give this a whirl because I like me some wheat. And there's no product date on it, so who knows how old it is. I like old beers. So it'll work either way. Um, um. Brimstone gave me um, some beer walls at the fest. Super excited. Didn't expect to really get anything from anybody. So I got here a growler of, I do not know what. Oh, Enlightenment. So there you go. Thank you very much, E. Brimstone. And two uh, bombers from them. I 
cannot actually make out one. One is a Nocturne, which I, not, I have actually had at Chad's, and I really liked it. And uh, the other one I can't make out. So, yeah, those are the three Brimstone offerings that were thrown my way. Thank you very much, Brimstone. Let's see. What else do we got going on here? That is that. And, oh, last gifted stuff from Wellington. Wellington was at the, um, the fest, and I had all these, um, but I'm going to review them, and they're absolutely fantastic. And thank you very much. I think Ian, I could be wrong, even though know, um, I have a re I interviewed almost all these breweries, so if I mess up names, yada, yada, yada. First off, Terrestrial Indian Brown Ale. Um, yeah, Bomber. Awesome. Free stuff. Great. I really like this beer. Chocolate Milk Stout, 7.2% Strong Stout Beer. Love this. One of my favorite beers of the fest. Um, their canned Wellington Imperial Russian Stout. Loved it. Can't wait to review that. And their Kick It Back Dry Hop Session Ale. All great beers. Super excited to give them more all. And uh, super excited to uh, review them, man. They're absolutely delicious. So thank you very much. Um, like I said, I believe it was Ian, but Wellington General. Super awesome. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Let me put beer on my table. It's not supposed to be there. You said, you said gift of beer. I just uh, that I beer. got from Canada and or New, upstate New York. So, so Well, a guy from Canada gifted it to you just now. Yeah. <laughs> You're not from Canada. Yeah. Nah. Man. Anyway, let's see what else we got. Let's stay in Canada. We'll just do LCBO stuff I picked up. Uh, Frostquake from Bose. All natural, right? No, Wellington. Oops, sorry. Wellington. Um, this was not gifted to me. I bought it. And it's a bourbon barrel aged barley wine. So... Yeah, yeah, that doesn't suck. Um, let's see here. We have uh, Bows. Now we got the Bows stuff. Bottle Imp, which is uh, their 9.0% alcohol, extra strong beer. Um, Style-wise, I'm not quite sure what it is, but I heard it was, oh, Russian Imperial Stout. There you, or Style Stout, sorry. Two of those I picked up because I heard it was good. You got to do it twice, so there you go. Awesome. Um, I picked up a um, Harveston. Orch Sli, uh, it's an ale, uh, uh, it's a uh, ale urge, uh, urged, uh, matured in Glen Farkas whiskey casks. So yeah, I've never actually seen this before. This is your Ola Dub, do you know what I mean? Actually, yeah, that I'll save that for you, buddy, when we do a review. I've never seen it, so I picked it up. Um, I've had this a billion times, Rosh uh, Why did you pick up Rosh in Canada? Three dollars and sixty-five cents. That's why you pick it up in Canada. That's like no money. It's like in, that's, that's like, no that's, money like in that's like negative three dollars American. You know what I mean? I <laughs> they paid me to take that beer. Yeah. Uh, Amsterdam Brewing Spring Box, seven point three percent um, Doppelbach. So there you go. <laughs> Amsterdam, the Tempest was beautiful. I enjoyed that. So can't wait to give that a whirl. Uh, Nickelbrook Headstock. Have you had this yet, Joe? No. It is their double IPA, and this is the best part about it. It is five days old right now. So, there you go. Nice. That doesn't suck. Um, had this before, reviewed this before, but I just had to pick some up. Ye old Bolshevik bastard. Um, let's see. Uh, Flying Monkeys, The Matador. Never had this before. Uh, it was in a box. It's Imperial Dark Rye Ale, aged on Spanish cedar. So, we'll see. What had you've had I've this? I've had that before. Yeah, it was okay. Whatever, Joe. I see you've had it all, buddy. Um, <laughs> and uh, I, I kind of picked up a little bit of Chocolate Manifesto. I'm not quite sure if I got enough for that. Um, too bad I didn't bring any back for anybody else. But um, not a big fan of this beer. Um, it's mediocre at best, but I figure, you know, I might as well pick one or two up. And then I'm not sharing it at all with anybody, especially um, my friend Chad. He's standing over there. You will not get any Chad? of this at Chad's all. not here. Chad. Uh, uh, Brad. <laughs> I see Chad. I'm are tired, you, dude. Are you I've drinking been, already? Dude, I've been driving. No, not at all, actually. Um, what else? Uh, it's another one of the, what, Three Musketeers? The uh, uh, Las Tras Musketeers. Uh, this is the one I picked up LCBO. It's their Doppelbach. 8.6% alcohol. There you go. It's another one. So, yes. Went to Oost. I like to say Oost. Oost instead of Oost House. It sounds, sounds more um, Canadian. If you say Oost. 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 Oost House, their Beer to Guard. I have this a while at the brewery. I really like it. Is it a Beer to Guard? I didn't think so. I thought it was more like a Belgian Dark Ale, but it was kind of weird, and I dug it, so I picked it up. It was delicious. And I did an awesome review with them, or an interview with them, so that was cool. Um, then, we left Canada, me and Paul, um, and uh, 
did a little uh, beer shopping throughout upstate New York. First, we went to P Premier Gourmet. Ch Joe's been there. Uh, they have a lot of beer, and it was yeah, pretty awesome. A bit. Uh, first yeah. off, I haven't had this year yet, 2013. Jaded Lee's Harvest Ale. Delicious. I know it's going to be. Uh, yeah, we have now the, what is this, the doll? Yeah, the doll. Special export stout. An export stout, but it intrigued me because it was 9% export stout. You usually don't see them that high in ABV. And i going to pick that up yet. Had this before, just liked it enough, picked it up. It's the Imperial Stout the uh, from Breckenridge, the 72, but it's also barrel-aged. Now it's absolutely delicious. Review this. One of my favorite beers from last year, Uinta's Labyrinth. You can get these around here, but they're like $20. Um, this I picked up, for, I think, for 11 So, yeah, that doesn't suck. Have not reviewed it. I actually never had the chocolate Oak Age Yeti yet. So, yeah, great divide. Oak Age Yeti. So I'm super excited to uh, give this a review and have it age-wise. It doesn't see on here. Not that it matters. I assume it's pretty new. Um, actually, I do have an age, but I can't see because I need bifocals. Oh, uh, you notice no glasses. My glasses broke while I was up there, so I'm rocking contacts. Jack's Abbey Saxonator. It's just their uh, Dunkel's Doppelbach. 8.5% Doppelbach. So there you go. Give it a whirl. This is pretty damn new. I thought I just saw a date on it. Yes. Oh no, February 2015. That's not new, not old. Um, got a half a uh, six of undercover investigation shutdown from Lagunitas. Strong ale. Yeah. We're gonna give that a whirl. King Titus from Maine Brewing. Um, I, I feel like I'm being made fun of. Off no, no, no. Mm -hmm. King, King uh, Titus is on uh, on draft at Coopers. Uh, yeah. Yep. Guess what? I have it. I don't have to go there now. I mean draft. Yeah. Well, you know. Claymore Scotch Ale. It's a wee heavy uh, from Great Divide Brewing. I'm a big wee heavy fan, so give that a whirl. Smutty Labs, or Smutty Nose, Smutty Lab Riced Out. A low ABV, 6.1 Riced Out, but one off cork and gates. Can't go wrong. There you go. I know, there's a lot of beer. Um, Pesh Mortel, had that a bunch of times. I'll drink it all day. Uh, I got a four pack framing hammer because, hey, that's all great stuff. Really old brand dog ale. I reviewed this and I loved it, but they just started producing it in four packs, 12 ounce bottles, so I picked myself up one of those and the Baltic Porter, which I'm a junkie for. Um, and that is the Premier Gourmet Hall, which I gotta now all this over to get to the other stuff. There's not much left. There wasn't much to begin with. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, just a, a couple beers. Uh, I forget the name of the place I stopped at. I finally picked up a barrel aged narwhal. I didn't want to pick it up because it's just too expensive by me. And then I kind of hated myself for not picking it up. And then I ran into this one little random place, picked this up, and um, it was $19. So that kind of made the decision for me. Um, the uh, Tol? Tol? Uh, Liquid Confidence. This is a. Um, Russian Imperial Stout, I believe, yeah, Imperial Stout brewed with chilies and aged in cherry barrels. Dude, you're, so, a you're a chili. Yeah, so we got that. Uh, let's see, a just straight up weasel, um, yeah, from McKellar. And, um, well, this is just straight up weasel, weasel. And then we have... Um, Dark Horse Scotty Karate Scotch Ale. Uh, let's see, Evil Twin, a soft DK. It's Imperial 10.4% Imperial Stout. We have I Love You With My Stout uh, from Evil Twin. Uh, Russian Imperial Stout Courage. I've drank a bunch of those. I just love it. I picked myself a four pack Chill Wave because that shit is fantastic. Plus, at 10.49, you cannot go wrong. Um, says Dusty Roots. Um, let's see, what else do I got? I picked up, they're in the fridge because we're going to do a bunch of reviews. I have the Breakfast Brunch Weasel. Pick that up. Um, what else did I, what else did I, I'm going to go in the fridge and get it. So I'll be back in a hot second. Okay, what else? I have, bottle design wise, this is fucking one of the best freaking bottle designs I've ever seen. Uh, Omnipolo, uh, Fat Morgana. Um, yeah, it is an Imperial India Pale Ale. Now, you talk about hazy. I mean, just looking at it. Dude, that's pretty cloudy. Yeah. <laughs> so, we'll see that. This intrigued me. I'm not a huge um, Bell's uh, Planet series, but you got a um, malt beverage 
A thin 11.5% malt beverage aged in oak bourbon barrels. Ah, the cold, cold 45 so, and oak. So, yeah, hey. Um, this oh. Paul from PA Brew News was like, dude, you need to, get, need to get this. Apparently, this is one of the kings of kings when it comes to Russian Imperial Stouts. It is the Imperial... St or, blah, 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 blah. Why am I spacing on this? Harvey's Imperial Extra Double Stout. Yes. So, so, we'll see what that's all about. And, like I said... McKellar beer, uh, beer Geek Breakfast. Oatmeal Stout Brew Coffee. So there you go. That is the little bit of beer I picked up on my uh, on my trip. Yeah, awesome weekend. Um, awesome weekend. A lot of great beer was drank. Um, a lot of good reviews will be posted. A lot of silly reviews. A, lot, a few drunken reviews um, will be posted. And it was just an absolutely blast. Huge blast. Um, I did get detained at the border, which was kind of cool, but I ended up making it in. Um, and they asked me what I had, and I said a lot of beer, and they didn't care. And when I came back to the United States, I had even more, and they didn't care about that. So, thank you, governments. Um, so, yeah. Um, I, uh, I'm, I'm spacing. I don't know why. Hold on. Um, you're finished, You're finished. No! You're talking. It's, it's fucking distracting me. He was telling me why you got detained. And, oh. You were save that shit. Right? Oh, I gotta cut this and splice this, motherfucker. Anyway, um, so yeah, uh, it was just a great weekend. Uh, again, like I said, I want to say thank you to Chad from Albano Rhino, um, Paul from PM Brew News, um, Nick from Maxwell Star Beer Reviews, Got Guy from uh, Beer Guy Reviews, um, Greg Bylog, um, The Average Joe, thank you very much, Dusty Rhodes, um, and uh, yeah, everybody else involved, the punter, uh, the puntet. Everybody that was there that made it an awesome, comfortable, fun weekend. Um, can't thank you enough. And I really appreciate um, the good times and, you know, the beer that was given, the beer that was drank, and the beer that was shared because that's what it's all about. So, yeah, there's a little recap for you. And look forward to um, – I'm going to try to put together like a little short little kind of um, – well, it's not going to be short. Um, kind of like a little – interview documentary thing i interviewed probably about 20 breweries while i was out there and kind of documented a bit of the trip so keep an eye out for that and um hopefully see you next time cheers <laughs>